Hello Aquarius and welcome to Blindside You Tarot. My name is Robin and Aquarius today we're going to do a general reading for the month of April 2024. Let's see what's coming ahead this month. Let's see what you can expect. Let's get ahead of the energies a little bit. Oh, we're getting an oracle message here Aquarius. Okay, okay, smoke. Okay, let's talk. Ooh, we have happy happy. That is the Aquarius card. That's the equivalent to the star. Whoa, milk and honey, yin, unfinished business and imagine. Whoa, Nelly, this is a look shit. Okay, hold on, I'm excited for you, Aquarius. It's shaping up to be an amazing month. Milk and Honey, though, is a little bit of a bittersweet card. It tells us that you've been through a shit storm here, but that's coming to an end. Something's not over. Something's coming back around here. So we'll find out what that is. But the yin represents the feminine energy and a passive and reflective um, period in your life. Or they're asking you to get a little bit more passive and reflective. Hold on, I just dropped your monology cards here. So, we have... Well, I just flew that card over there. I <laughs> got butter fingers. What's going on? Adjustments are required. The third quarter moon and the end of a tough cycle approaches. Coming to the end of that time frame here, Aquarius. What's the Kipper card? And we're going to get into this reading. I'm not going to get the happy, happy, but you know what's there, baby. You know what's there. Oh, prison. You definitely might have. You're definitely coming out of a difficult cycle, Aquarius. You might have felt trapped. Maybe some of you were in prison or knew someone that was in jail. Um, but metaphorically, prison is just about feeling trapped, feeling frustrated with your circumstances, trying to make a change, but you feel like you can't, right? Let's talk about it. Let's get into your reading and see what's going on here in April 2024. And Aquarius, for those of you who are interested, I am open for personal readings. If you'd like one of those, the link is in the description box below. Wow, we have the Four of Wands, we have the Hierophant, we have the Three of Pentacles here. Getting the recognition you deserve, baby. I hope there's enough room on the table for all these cards. I hope you see them all. We have the sun. Okay, what do we got here? We have the sun. We have the seven of cups. We have the six of swords. We have the ten of wands in reverse. Yeah, burdens are coming to an end. The ten of wands in reverse is also a reminder to set up healthy boundaries here and prioritize yourself. There's strength, having the courage and the strength to prioritize yourself and set up your boundaries. Let's talk about it. We start with the four of wands. The four of wands is a card of peace, harmony, happiness. Um, it's also the card of a happy home. Let's talk about this four of wands for Aquarius. How are we starting this reading? What's going on? What do we need to know? Ace of wands, three of pentacles, and the four of pentacles. There's the queen of swords. There's you. This is all about, I mean, some of you might be having a job offer on your house or maybe putting your house up for sale here. Spring market's just around the corner. Um, but I feel for many of you, you're getting the recognition you deserve. Three of pentacles is here twice. And the Three of Pentacles represents, uh, well, getting the recognition you deserve. It's someone admiring you, respecting you, um, finding you to be inspirational, a hard worker. So, you know, with the Ace of Wands and the Three of Pentacles here with this Four of Wands, I do feel you're following your passion and following your passion always creates success. Um, it might take a long time. It might be delays, but it does create success. And you're coming out of this frustrating energy and a, and a very difficult cycle into a cycle of passion, of creativity, of recognition. Um, the four pentacles represents stability, but it also represents an energy of going with the flow. When we understand the energies around us, we understand the cycles we're in, we can better deal with those challenges and the things that come around, right? I want one more card. Yeah, there's the making the choice to follow your passion. You're making some kind of change here, Aquarius. Um, and, and it's going to get outside your comfort zone. That's the way it is. But whatever you were feeling trapped in, this is the time to make adjustments. This is the time to make some changes here. And that's what you're doing. Um, the Hierophant represents spiritual lessons. Um, so there's a lot of spiritual growth. When we do make changes in our life, it can be uncomfortable. Make different choices. You get different results. Um, but there's also usually spiritual lessons that can come along with it. What do you want to say about the Hierophants here for uh, Aquarius? Talk to us. It's the Hierophant's energy. Wow, the Three of Pentacles again. And the Seven of Cups. And the Queen of Wands. There's the Six of Pentacles. There's the Empress, baby. Whoa. The Nine of Pentacles is the pre-Empress. It's Well, it's the minor arcana to the Empress energy. So you're getting recognized. I either have a job offer, an opportunity. You're making a transition here. Um, but you are getting recognized. You have built a reputation for yourself. It could be coming from this fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. But I really felt like this is your energy. Um getting the recognition right so the empress the queen of wands the nine of pentacles what's this devil energy four of wands it could have been a it could be a capricorn involved what's the devil 
the high priestess, it's letting go of your fears, worries, anxieties. So when we come, when we're coming out of a difficult cycle or a frustrating cycle and things aren't going our way, we can get negative, we can get pessimistic, we can focus on the negative, we can turn to substances to numb us. It's just an energy of letting go of any of those virtues, any of those habits, any of those thoughts that do not serve you. It is standing with your natural born leadership. It is your forward thinking and your progressive thinking here that will, your problem solving basically Aquarius, it's gonna progress forward. But it's really making the choice to focus on your strengths, making the choice to allow your natural leadership skills to come through. Look at all the yellow. So the yellow represents enlightenment and we're clarifying the hierophant here. So you're really coming into your own, stepping into your own power and realizing your gifts and your skills and using them to your advantage. It's smart. It's not, it's a smart thing to do. Um, so there's a three of pentacles again. Let's talk about this three of pentacles again. Let's clarify. It's come out of several times here already. What you want to say about the three of pentacles for, uh, judgment. Okay. Yeah. The world, the three of pentacles, can it come out anymore in your reading? <laughs> and there's the world new cycle. There's a page of cups. There's their dreams. And there's a two of wands. So whatever transition, whatever change you're making, some of you definitely listening to your house and moving here. Um, some of you are just changing jobs. There's a lot of change and a lot of movements in the month of April. Um, the world, I mean, again, world and six of swords is moving. Selling your house and moving. But the world is also a master of inner alchemy. So this cycle is coming to an end and you're entering into a beautiful cycle where you're going to be recognized. You're going to have a lot to be appreciative for. Uh, you're also going to have a big decision to make in order to create this change. Uh, there's the moon. There could be some fears around that. And there's the page of pentacles. There are. Um, but the end of that cycle is coming through. You're not going to feel trapped, but you do have some worries, some anxieties and some fears. Um, and there's the, the sun. It's just knowing that you're a master of yourself. It's knowing that you've disciplined your mind. The sun and the strength is a very spiritual combination. There's your hard work and your discipline. But this is about disciplining your mind, letting go of the ego, letting go of the pride, dropping worries, anxieties, fears, the strength is the devil within the beast represents the beast within ourselves our lower virtues anxieties the devil the satanic the temptation energy and combine that with the sun and that represents being a master of the sun a master of yourself a master of your mind it's being completely disciplined and there's that eight of pentacles and the eight of pentacles is an energy of discipline hard work um so your hard work is paying off here you're getting a lot of recognition we go from the three to the eight of pentacles the eight of pentacles is seeing sales it's seeing progress it's commitment determination and hard work paying off so very disciplined energy coming through here for the month of April for the changes that you're making. And with the seven of cups here, it's having to go with these changes without knowing how they're going to play out, right? Aquarius, that's what the seven of cups is. It's moving forward. It's making a decision, but not knowing how it's going to end up. And it's choosing to have faith over fear. It's choosing to trust in yourself. What's with the six of swords? If there's a lesson from the past energy, what was that lesson supposed to be? Because this is your initiation. This is your test and transition card. This is moving from rocky waters to smoother waters. So um, what do you want to say about the six of swords energy here for uh, Aquarius? All right. Wow. <laughs> you. Seven of Swords, being strategic, yeah, getting your fresh start, trusting your intuition, going with the flow. So it's you healing, transitioning, moving forward. Part of what you were learning is to stand in your power, stand your ground, be strategic, but also giving yourself the opportunity to heal and create balance. The star is about alchemy and balance, right? Balancing the feminine, the masculine, balancing spiritual material, balancing work and action, thought and action. So it's an energy of being strategic, learning how to create your plan to get out of a negative situation. It's an energy of, of, of increasing your frequency. But really what you're, what you're moving on from is you've, you've healed. You've taken the time to heal, to let go of things that don't serve you. It's been a long road. And again, the Ten of Wands is that need to create um, boundaries and prioritize yourself. So what I see here, Aquarius, is a big month of transition and change. Um, you're making, you're, you know, you're making different decisions, right? Adjustments are required. You're making different decisions to get different results. Your, your hard work and discipline are paying off. Many of you are moving houses. Some of you could just be transitioning jobs, changing friends. But I do want to see what else I want to say about the Ten of Wands in reverse here for Aquarius. What is the Ten of Wands here? The Page of Wands. Yeah, ooh, Page of Cups. And the Star. Ten of Wands with the Page of Wands and the Page of Cups. You have multiple offers or multiple. There's the Ten of Wands upright. There's the Five of Cups and the Devil. You're worried about making the wrong decision. Okay. What do you want to say to Aquarius about that? 
Um, because with the Page of Cups, it's kind of an energy of you're worried about kind of wishful thinking or, or wondering if it can happen. Like, if is it, is it realistic? So can we understand that better? They just want you to let go of the fears. That, that's the whole point here. Five of Cups. The past is the past. You learn from it. You don't project it into your present. So it's letting go of the past. It's learning from this and allowing yourself to progress forward. It's guiding yourself to a new direction, but it's prioritizing you and setting healthy boundaries, not being afraid to do that, Aquarius, but also not being afraid to let go of the past, whether it's people, thoughts, habits, jobs, careers, things that no longer serve you. If anything made you feel trapped, that's not the right place to be. You want to have that element of freedom, of, of confidence in yourself. So you're definitely moving forward. Um, I feel it's setting healthy boundaries and prioritizing yourself here to create the peace and the harmony some of you are just straight up moving houses <laughs> okay that's what we have here aquarius so let's grab some oracles we're going to see what they want to say we'll get back to the tarot in the month of may and see what goes on but this is a month of transition and change um and the ending of an old and, and in with a new cycle we do have a lot of eclipses it is springtime so it is really the time of change and transition and set up the rest of the year for yourself right and look at the hippopotamus exploration maybe you've just become bored and stagnant but if you've become bored with your life you have the creative power to stir things up and revitalize everything. You can do this by starting new projects, setting new goals, and making new and spiritual connections. So let's get the life and career advice cards here, which we'll say to Aquarius for the month of April 2024, baby. Brilliance. You discover your own genius by breaking away from the grinds. So follow your inspirations because your ideas bring recognition. You're definitely getting the recognition here. That card has come out several times. So um, if you're very innovative, creative, you're some kind of entrepreneur or engineer or like, a, I can't think of that word. It's not visionary. It's like, you know, Lori from um, Inventor. <laughs> I can I couldn't think of the word. I was thinking Lori from Shark Tank. She's an inventor, right? You could be an inventor and some of your products or something you're inventing here is really progressing. What does Aquarius need to surrender? You guys are, you know, Aquarians are representative of future and technology and innovative changes, right? So you can be in that field of work as well, Aqua. Yeah, surrender to the beauty of the natural world. Take a relaxing break and spend time in nature. Replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and the ecstasy there. Just for fun, let's grab the Christ consciousness energy here and uh, we'll get back to your potential outcome. We'll get back to the tarot here. It's the Christ consciousness energy here for Aqua. Merci beaucoup. Uh, uh, Thomas, yeah, mind trap and doubt. You know, the biggest enemy in life is not outside of ourselves, it's within ourselves. And you don't want that's the eight of, eight of swords energy. You don't want your fears, worries, doubts, limiting beliefs, anything like that trap you. Um, the people who get in what they want in life are the people who believe they're going to get it. So, this is just letting go of those fears, letting go of those worries, continuing to progress forward with nothing but confidence and belief that you're going to do this. Um, so let go of those fears, those worries, those anxieties. Now don't pretend like they're never going to come through. They always are. That's why you got to be disciplined in your mind. Acknowledge those negative thoughts, worries, anxieties, fears, release them. I crinkle them into a baseball, like a little piece of paper and crinkle a ball and throw it out. Um, but whatever works for you, kick it like a soccer ball or a football, do what you got to do, but don't let the de doubts uh, control you. Let your confidence control you and your heart lead you. Okay. So Aquarius, let's get your, whoa, potential outcome. Those cards just fell. Three, a hermit in reverse, the high priestess in reverse, and justice in reverse. Ignoring your intuition. Don't ignore your intuition. There's a four of wands. Uh, they want me to take those. Okay. Um, this is an element of... Okay, we'll get there in a sec. Hold on. Two more cards here for the potential outcome. The tower is in reverse. Wow, your potential outcome is upside down here. One more. There's a nine of swords. Ah, the king of cups in reverse. Well, this is a little bit of a warning here. Um, don't let your worries, anxieties, and okay, trust your intuition, Aqua. The Justice in Reverse is the most harsh card in the tarot, okay? Um, it's literally the card we don't want to see. So when it's in reverse, it's telling us that something's not fair, but it is fair. It was a consequence of our own actions. So Justice in Reverse is principle of cause and effect when our actions have turned against us and they didn't benefit us. And now we're suffering the consequences of that shitty action or choice. And in this case, that's an energy of ignoring your intuition. Trust yourself. Trust your intuition. Your intuition, your gut feeling, your downloads, they're not going to lie to you. They are the truth. Um, so this is just a reminder to always trust your intuition and understand principle of cause and effect. Don't ignore your intuition here, Aquarius, um, because there's a resistance here. The tower in reverse and the king of cups in reverse is a resistance to trust your intuition. Why is this coming out? Why is this? Why is there? Why? 
It's negative thoughts because your cloud, your, your thoughts can, your, your, okay, your thoughts can cloud your judgment. So this is really walking away from any worries, anxieties, fears. That's a big point of this message. If you want this transition change, if you want to get out of this trap feeling aqua, if you want to progress forward and you're Aquarius, so you're going to be very progressive and a forward thinker, um, they want you to let go of the fears. Um, that's what this adjustment is. So, and that's what will get you into the pot of the gold at the end of the rainbow. Uh, shit storms are our perspective. It's all how you look at things. So Aquarius, let go of the fears, let go of the worries, let go of that move forward trusting your intuition and allowing your heart to lead you and to guide you and um don't resist those changes the more that we resist we're going against natural law right like Lao Tse teaches us when we're rigid when we're the rock when we're resisting uh we create unnecessary suffering in our life and the tower in reverse with the king of cups is resisting your intuition it's resisting uh this change it's resisting a transition don't resist it because like I said, the longer you resist it, the more frustrating it's going to be for you and the more you're going to be in that justice and reverse energy. So this is a big uh, message here, Aqua, to really trust in yourself and trust in your intuition. Let go of those worries um, and that cycle that you've been trapped in or frustrated in will come to an end. It will be better than you can imagine, um, but they need you to change your mind frame here. Is there anything else you can say to Aquarius about this? Yeah, don't, don't let temptation get the best of you. Uh, that to get what you want, you're going to be, have to be very disciplined. And in mind, life is a mind game. So it's disciplining your mind. That's the temptation right there. And this Queen of Pentacles is in control of the temptation. She's a very disciplined queen. So to get what you want, it's going to take discipline and hard work and planning. And there's the Queen of Swords. So I hope you got your message. I hope who it was meant for pass along, but that's what I got going on here, Aquarius. So you can have everything you want. There's a lot of transitions and changes here. There's a new cycle upon you, uh, but you got to let go of the, the, the lack of confidence in your intuition and any doubts or limiting beliefs that are hindering you. That's what's up. That's what I got. That's what's going down. So Aquarius, <laughs> if you like your reading, if you like my style, I do ask that you like, comment, subscribe. It does help my channel to grow. Thank you, Aquarius. I always appreciate your support. Let's close your reading off today with a yes or no question. Yes or no? What's the answer for Aquarius? <clears throat> the answer is no. That's what I have. Aquarius, I truly wish you the best of luck. Until next time.